Oh wow, be careful, be careful. How in the world did you spot that that far away? Uh, these. Have you been reading those books I've been giving you, the bird books? Yeah. You know this is an extinct animal, right? Yeah. That's awesome that you knew that, dude. Hey guys, my name is Cameron from the channel Carolina Fragrance Reviews. Steven and I got together a little bit earlier and we discussed about doing a collab. And he invited me to come on his channel and we thought about doing the duo of Dodo and Chameleon from the company Zoologist. And we always do kind of crazy things on Carolina Fragrance Reviews. We do the cinematography. Whenever I spun it to Steven, he came up with some ideas and that's exactly how this collab came to be. Steven, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You are a great, great person, full of knowledge. Your channel is fantastic and it is a total honor to be on here with you today. Okay, to get things started, I have been given the task of covering Dodo, who Victor Wong was so gracious in sending this out when he heard about this collaboration. He was kind enough and nice enough to send this out. Victor, thank you so much. And Steven, thank you again for having me on the channel. And Dodo was actually for me, Love at First Sniff. It has been a very popular fragrance. Chameleon has as well. Both of those fragrances work for me. Dodo has kind of a cool story behind it about how the Dodos actually went extinct. And it actually made me think about a similar story for me. The Dodos were alive on the Mauritian Islands of the Indian Ocean. And they really just kind of just slumbered around and ate berries and run through ferns. And actually it got to the point to where they didn't even fly, which eventually from having such a lavish lifestyle for a bird, they became extinct. They were their own worst enemy, so to speak, which kind of gives me an idea of how things were for me. Uh, when I went to a couple of vacations, they were all inclusive vacations. One was to Jamaica and one was to Cancun. If you're having people wait on you hand and foot the way they were in Jamaica, where we're eating fresh food that was brought in from the ocean, whether it was, they were climbing trees and cutting down fresh bananas and making jerk chicken. We actually had a goat sacrifice for us and fed us that. When I was in Cancun, as soon as we got out of the airport, it was taking us out and you see these beautiful waves crashing. And yeah, if you got stuck in that frame of mind, you would forget your instinctive values. And that's what Dodo kind of represents. It is a wonderful spring and summer fragrance. The first thing you get is like a bitter lime with berries and fern, which is same thing of those birds waddling through there, not being able to fly, completely complacent. And that's, that's what this type of fragrance is. It's very relaxing. You can lose yourself. Just a really fun and inviting fragrance. Let me go over the notes on this fragrance for you guys. The notes on Dodo are fern, lime, lychee, raspberry, ambergris, ferbosome, geranium, rose, amber, feathery musk, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. And as always, you get your awesome presentation as Zoologist always does it with this beautiful bottle that kind of leans back a little bit into its little nest, if you will, since we're talking about Dodo. You can pick this fragrance up by the lid. Presentation is always on fleek with zoologists. Yes, there has been a couple of zoologist fragrances that I wasn't big fans of, but this one is excellent. And when I spoke to Victor, he sent out the entire collection to me. And to be honest with you, it, it really surprised me because I'd asked, I had asked about zoologists from a couple friends of mine as well as a couple other houses and they pretty much told me that I was wasting my time that you know they weren't maybe they just didn't know what type of fragrances that I vibed off of but with the exception of maybe one or two zoologists is actually a house that I very very much like again thank you Stephen thank you Victor you guys are awesome and I appreciate everything and you will see a review about zoologists actually a whole house review on carolina fragrance reviews steven back to you my friend 
So I would just like to start my end of the video by saying a very special thank you to my good friend Cameron for being a part of this channel. I really do appreciate it. I've been watching your videos for some time now. I think you're incredibly talented and skilled and funny and it's such a breath of fresh air and I'm so happy to have you on my channel. Thank you so much for participating in this collaboration with me. And so since Cameron sort of tackled Dodo on his end, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Chameleon. So this is the duo of fragrances that were recently released by the company Zoologist. Uh, this one is composed by Daniel Pesio. And why, what I particularly like about Chameleon is that in the description of the scent, it talks about it having a kaleidoscopic hue um, resemblance that sort of conveys the aroma and the olfactory profile of the scent. And sure enough, when you do look at the note breakdown, you'll see that there are a ton of different ingredients contributing to that overall smell that you get. My initial impression for this one, and I did make a comparison, to me it kind of smelled like Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford, which I have over my left shoulder here in the white bottle. And I like that tropicality that it sort of brings forth with it. Yes, it does have the Ylang Ylang, and it has the Freesia, and it has all of these exotic floral ingredients that at times could come across a little bit heady, but in my opinion, it sort of lacks the aldehydic component that would make me compare it to fragrances from an old world feel. And so this is not your Chanel number no. five or anything like that. It's certainly youthful. What I like about it, and one of the notes that is immediately present to my nose at least from the beginning of this composition is the note of vanilla. And so vanilla, being as though I am uh, inclined towards gourmands, this is one that really piqued my interest because I love the sweet smells. And so as it started to dry down with the Apopanax and the various other resins that are utilized in here, for those of you who don't know, uh, Apopanax is also known as sweet myrrh and I have smelled it in its pure form and it's such an amazing and incredibly mysterious ingredient. I really don't have the words to express it, but I do smell it in here with the sandalwood, a little touch of patchouli in here just to ground it and give it some dimension in the base. This is such a wonderfully constructed scent and I like how they sort of took it and went in a tropical direction with this one. So this is certainly a fragrance along the lines of like Virgin Island Water by Creed. Not to say that it smells anything like that scent because it really doesn't. It doesn't have the coconut lime combination that you get in that, but I think it's appropriate for the same exact scenarios. My only word of caution on this one would be if you're not a fan of overly floral scents, the presence of the florals that are utilized in here like the jasmine and the freesia and the ylang ylang could potentially steer one away from this one, but but in my humble opinion, this is totally unisex. The florals in here do not convey a femininity to the scent. And so I think a man or a confident man could very confidently pull this one off. I really like the complexity that is conveyed in this scent. And I love the fusion and the marriage, the unity of all of the ingredients that are conveyed in this one. And so I, I had a hard time initially picking my favorite between the two. And so I really like the work of uh, J.K. Delap. And so I like like Dodo and I like that bearing nuance with that green undertone, that verdant undertone that seems to sort of clash at first, but then it blends into this sort of mellifluous uh, harmony with one another. So I really enjoyed that one. But this is the one where right from the beginning of the scent, I was like, yeah, this is a good one. And so I had my wife smell it and she goes, that's from Zoologist. So my wife, coincidentally, uh, she has tried pretty much every other Zoologist fragrance. And I know that she has a favorite and a least favorite. This is actually her favorite zoologist perfume and she actually went as far as saying that this is one that she would love to wear for herself and truth be told she has been wearing this one for herself and so I don't know if that's going to taint me wanting to wear it on my own in the future, just becoming accustomed to smelling it on my wife for so long. But all in all, I really do enjoy this one. I think it's a remarkable release from the House of Zoologists. If you are a fan of tropical, floral, vacation style scents, uh, this is one that you ought not to miss. Definitely go out there, put your nose on it. I can almost guarantee that you will enjoy this one. Such a stellar combination of fragrances to be released. And so Victor Wong, you did a phenomenal job as a creative director once more. I love the direction that you're heading in. And I know I've said this for like the past two or three zoologist reviews I've done on my channel, but I sincerely mean it. So thank you for providing this bottle to me for review. I really do appreciate that.
So thank you so much, everyone, once again for tuning in. And also a very special thank you goes to my friend Cameron. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and collaborating with me to do this duo of reviews. It really means a lot to me. And also, if you are watching at home for the first time, if you're new to this channel, I would really appreciate your subscription if this video brought some value to you. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button in the corner. And this way, whenever I do upload future fragrance related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads and that includes reviews and collaborations just like this one, unboxings, giveaways, top 10s, special guests, interviews, and a whole lot of other fragrance related content. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.